What's up YouTube, my name is Lazy Tryhard and today we're going to be covering orthographic cameras which are basically just a fancy, which is basically just a fancy term for cameras and we're also going to be going over your guys' survey results which most of them were really helpful and again I got double digits so I'm so happy right now thank you so much for everyone who contributed and if you still want to contribute you still can, the survey is still open uh, I hopefully we'll put a link in the description below so Again, we'll cover those after we do our tutorial on cameras. Now, a camera basically um, does what we would expect it to do. We have, okay, so we have this, like, finite space. We can't really, like, our player moves, but we, like, the landscape doesn't move with it. And that's because we don't have a camera set on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a uh, orthographic camera. And what we're going to do is... First, kind of obviously create it, and then finally initialize or next initialize it in the um, the show in the the show method. So we're gonna have to make an, a new orthographic camera, and it's gonna take a viewport width and a viewport height. So right now we're just gonna set that to the uh, gdx.graphics.get width and gdx.graphics.get height. Um, so basically what that means is it's just setting it to the dimensions of the actual window and that obviously can change depending on uh, the phone or the Android device you're doing but that doesn't really do anything for us because I mean we're not the camera isn't moving so what we do next is we go to this update method and we do it below the player.update because again just don't I'll, I'll show you what it does in a sec it's kinda hard to explain um, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna do uh, cam.update and that's just gonna update the camera uh, as fast as possible so that uh, it can keep up with the position that when the player moves left our camera moves left so what you're also gonna wanna do is set that position so cam.position.set and you're gonna have three an x a y and a z now don't worry about the Z because that's a 3D coordinate um, but uh, for right now we're just going to do the following so like like normal player dot get position dot X um, and player player dot get position dot Y and then Z which is zero because we don't want to deal with that and then finally don't worry about this line um, but we're going to have to set the sprite batch projection matrix um, to cam dot combined that's just a big fancy term for or big big fancy uh, line of code for uh, we're just merging the camera and the sprite batch so that the sprite batch knows that uh, it needs to move everything to the left when our player goes left because that's where the camera's going. It just like bridges the gap between the sprite batch and the camera. So we, we do that right now and we have this cute little guy who is amazingly perfect and moving around and we can finally go see that tree we initialized so long ago. Um, it's kind of nice to be free, but if you can't tell, it's the guy's a little to the to the right a little bit. There's a, little, a lot more space to the left than to the right, and it's approximately uh, half of this texture because the x y coordinate is right there. That's the center. So what we're going to want to do is move uh, this half this this guy half of his size to the left, and half of his size up and down down so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna modify this position so that it says the following plus we're gonna add um, because the coordinates are weird so don't worry about that just go with it so player dot get current frame that's the texture um, not get region width and that's the width of the entire texture but we only want half of it to uh, finish this off so we do that and it gets okay it, I, I wanna say it's perfect I don't really know for sure but that that seems pretty close to the middle it's better than it was but we're also gonna wanna do that for the height as well so player dot excuse me parentheses player dot get current frame dot get region height divided by two and that should be good and our player should be in the middle so uh, we see this beautiful landscape and it goes white and it's just ugh. 
So I'm just going to extend this really quickly. If you want to make, since we're going to, this is going back to the other tutorial, um, but we're going to edit the dimensions of the uh, for loop so that it creates an array list that deals with 100 by 100 tiles, which is going to take a little while longer to load. As you can see, um, our player slash map is um, taking a little while longer. I don't know if, how long this is going to take. So 100 by 100, that's actually a lot. Uh, if it doesn't load in the next five seconds, if you have a high-end computer, screw you, because this is supposed to be high-end. Um, so, for, uh, uh, assuming you don't have the greatest computer of all times, we're just gonna we're gonna update this to 20 instead. Um, it should take twice the time it would normally take. Hopefully, actually, no, that's a lie. It take longer, but. Now we have this beautiful map that's even larger and more abundant than before. And that's about it for the camera. Um, I mean, we can go into different topics. Uh, there's a bunch of different methods in here, like zooming in, zooming out, um, translating, projecting, rotating. But, I mean, if you're trying to create either a side-scroller or a uh, Pokemon, like, top-down game like we have here, vaguely, vaguely. Um, then this works perfectly. So that's about it for this t <laughs> this tutorial. So if you if you're strictly here for the coding, um, that's awesome. But I'm gonna switch over to the Survey Monkey, which again, hilarious. I I loved you guys because you guys took this seriously, um, even when uh, I <laughs> I took most of it seriously. But I didn't I didn't know how many responses I'd get. So uh, we're just gonna go over the questions. So for the what type of game do you want me to create, I got literally 50-50 uh, for the most part. There was 11, uh, 11 people who submitted to this, and I think about an hour ago there was 10, and it was still 50-50. So, I mean, I'll, I'll probably do the following. I'll probably um, show you how to do both uh, in an aspect. I'll focus on one. Uh, probably the side school, I don't know though, um, mostly because I have so much more experience in dealing uh, with this and I feel like I could get, you, teach you guys a lot more, um, but at the same time I'm definitely going to implement this as well because it's really very, very small changes. You just have to add physics to this one and you can make, them, you can make maps very easily um, with the methods that I know how to use. And we'll hopefully be able to teach you guys. So again, we'll do we'll do kind of a 50/50 on that aspect, um, and I'll teach you guys both of that. So uh, what else did we cover? Um, what other topics would you like me to cover? Uh, a lot of you guys said UI. Uh, I can do that. I love UI, and um, I can teach you guys that. And that'll just be a continuation of episode nine. Uh, one guy said box 2D. I can get into that as well. That's kind of more physicsy, and I haven't really. D d driven very deep into that uh, but at the same time I'm always looking for a challenge and I'm always looking for something to learn and I can teach you guys that um, a couple more just like physics more uh, GUI uh, and a stopwatch apparently so I'll definitely keep these in mind as I'm like continuing through and this was the question that I kind of I kind of enjoyed um, the most but if I did like a let's play of a certain game or something which is ironic because I based my <laughs> I started this channel uh, mostly with Daisy or whatever so <laughs> now that I'm like kind of transitioning over to the more of a programming aspect and a programming based um, channel this I, again I just enjoy this uh, so I said would you be opposed uh, to doing a let's play and <laughs> it was a five to four and then a, another five I'm assuming uh, the people who said depends on the game would watch it um, regardless but point being still getting like uh, a pretty flat margin uh, I, I really enjoyed that so I'll definitely keep that in mind I'll hit you guys up uh, once uh, I get some cash or uh, I buy some games or whatever happens uh, the Steam Winter Sale or whatever, I, if they have those anymore, please, I'm praying hard that they do, because I always buy so many s weird games on that. Um, and then, obviously, we had two guys. One does not simp... I, I just put that out because I was trying to be funny. I apologize. Uh, I know this is kind of a serious thing. But, uh, question four, if you answered yes, and then you gave me Daisy, yes, still some Daisy supporters out there, because the new standalone came out. I'm totally psyched. I totally want to get it. Um, but, 
we had a couple guys. I said no. Uh, it would. It wouldn't be too interesting. Or I wouldn't be too interested. I'm assuming that's right. I wouldn't be too interesting in an LP. Well, you wouldn't, but I mean, I probably would. I'm kidding. I, I'll let you guys aside. Go watch my Daisy videos or something. Um, and then finally, what other programming topics in general would you like to be discussed? And a lot of you said, gosh, Linux? Heck no. I ain't doing Linux. Um, but uh, anything worth sharing? A lot Java, I can cover that. Uh, both, I, I got this a lot. Networking, uh, programming, client side, server games, and applications. Again, not too big. Like I don't know a lot about that. I'm still trying to get into that. Um, mostly because like my, the computer classes that I'm taking now at school, we haven't really covered networking. That's next semester, I believe. So I'll try to hit that up. And then physics, I can learn this semester or this winter, and then teach you guys how to use them. So. Um, that's about it for the questions, I think. Oh, and then, f f who could forget? Uh, the what should I celebrate for my 500 subscriber celebration within reason, obviously. A lot of you guys said um, do a live stream of you coding and let... I like this one. Whoever posted this, you're, you're pretty cool. Uh, but live stream a game development session and allow the viewer, I'm assuming the viewers, uh, to make some of the game design decisions. That would be really cool. That really intrigued me. Um, so... Hopefully, I don't know when that would be. Um, I'll hit you up hopefully uh, this weekend, or hit you guys up this upcoming weekend on when that would be. Um, but I don't know off the top of my head when or where. Um, so that's that definitely, I'm liking that idea right now. So hopefully you guys could participate in that as well and join me, and we could figure this out. So. Um, I'll have more details on that, but again, thank you so much for this, fill, filling out the survey. I know it was kind of annoying, um, but I like to hear you guys' input and make sure that you guys are um, number one in what happens on this channel and what happens um, with my videos. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if you have any other questions or feedback or whatever, go ahead. You can still post on this. Um, it's just not going to make my video. I apologize. So. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, all that good jazz, and I will see you guys in the next video.